Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. Um, today, I'm going to be doing your monthly reading for October of 2020, and I'll be using the Celtic Cross. Remember, guys, if this does not resonate with you, this is a general reading. So make sure to watch your sun, your moon, and your rising also. So let's get on with this. Hope it all is well with you guys. Um, I have been uh, feeding the little baby kittens, getting them used to uh, eating canned food. The little boy eats wonderful. The little girl is very, very, uh, she's going to be a tough one. Um, she still hisses at me. Um, she's doing better. Um, once I get her out of the, you know, in my hands and stuff, um, the hissing kind of stops. But that one wants to be fed with an eyedropper. So I'm, I put a little girl in there hoping, but well, she, he won't eat off, or she won't eat off the plate yet. So I come now. So, but we'll keep working. So when mama, I got mama, she's eating well. So, yep. Of course now she has no place to hide so she doesn't have much of a place. So, yep. Okay, one more shuffle and we'll get on with this reading for you guys. This is gonna be for my Aries. So this is for Aries for October of 2020. Let's see what's going on. Angels, guides, and spirits, what is it that Aries needs to know for the month of October of 2020, please, Aries. All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. So this is gonna be for your present, okay? And we have the crystal ball. So your present situation is that crystal ball and that crystal ball is about the clairvoyance and meditation. So maybe you're starting um, to work on um, some meditation and some clairvoyance. Um, maybe you're seeing things or hearing things or picturing things, things like that, um, that's going on with you right now. So, in your immediate future, we have the shovel. Right? And the shovel's all about um, shoveling away things from the past, right, is how I look at it. We are burying something. Um, maybe we're trying to cover or uncover something. So what are you trying to cover up or uncover? There might be something um, that you are looking at that maybe you, um, maybe something from the past. Maybe it's talking about the past that maybe you want to um, move on from something and that's why you're doing your meditation, okay? So then we have our goal. So your goal, I have is the fish. Here's the fish. Right, and the fish is all about your emotions. It's about maybe some kind of a body of water that you're looking at. Um, but that's your goal and your destiny is maybe you want to um, get a better hold on your emotions um, or maybe the emotions of someone else. And for your distant past, the what has just happened, not too long, we have the anchor. Okay, and the anchor is all about staying put. For so for some reason, you're staying put where you're at. So maybe it is um. It, it's also about stability, 
right? So we have a stable situation that we're in right now, or maybe it was stable. This is your past. So remember, guys, this is your distant past. So you were stable at one time, and things were looking good, um, and in, you were staying where you were at, okay? So for your um, recent past, the past that was just happening, we have the sachet. And the sachet is about protection. It's about channeling your energy. So you were channeling your energy somewhere, or but you had that protection with you. So you had that protective, or maybe you were protecting something, but we had that protection for your, your distant past. And then for your re or for your future, um, we have the Mort Bell. And the Mort Bell is all about a change. Okay. So we want to change something. Um, <clears throat> we want to change something um, that has been going on in our life right now or that is going to be going on in our life right now. But we want to change that for the future. We want to change our energy. So maybe we kind of down right now um, about something and that we need that uplifting we need that meditation. We need that uplifting. We need to uplift ourselves right now for some reason. You um, feel as if you need to uplift your, yourself. And then in the, uh, your attitude is all about that mystery of the cat. Okay. So right now you're thinking about your attitude is that, that mystery. So you have maybe some, uh, clairvoyance that's coming through, you know, maybe you have that, <clears throat> that something that you're wondering about, you have something that you're looking forward to or wondering about. And then what other people think of you. Um, right now we have the uh, pillar and the pillar is all about, they think that you're um, solid, dependable, you know, you're a sturdy person. You get things done. So that is what I'm seeing there. And then your emotions are all about perfume. Okay. So we have that um, perfume <clears throat> that is all about that scent, that sense, that fond memory, maybe some comfort. So we have that comfort coming in. So that's what you want in your emotions right now. You want that comfort, you know. You want that um, sense of belonging, you know, somebody coming to you and saying, yes, you know, that is what I want or that is what I want. That's what I need. But you want that comfort right now. And then for the your total outcome of everything, which is this is great, guys, we have the uh, pot Right, and that pot is all about, you're gonna have abundance. You're gonna have nourishment. You're gonna have some sacred, something sacred maybe in your life. So that is amazing um, that you guys, uh, your final outcome is, has to do with um, that abundance that's coming in. So it could be money. It could be an abundance of family, friends, um, an abundance at work maybe. Um, so, but anyway, you have all this abundance coming towards you. So, that that's a, an amazing reading. So, let's pull an oracle card. So, I see your future is bright. Um, I see it as everything that you've wanted, everything that you've dream, dreamt about, everything that you are wishing for is coming your way. It's, it's there. You just have to work on it, you know. Um, but remember to to thank, you know, your angels, your guides, your spirits for everything that they've given to you so that, um, you know, the abundance will come to you. You guys have to um, talk to them and tell them, you know, exactly what you want, you know, let them know. So, but that abundance is on your way. It's coming. So angels, guides, spirits, universe. Tell me what it is for October of 2020 that you would like to tell my Aries, please.
Oh, I think I got scratched by the cat. <laughs> I just noticed that. I didn't think it scratched me. I hit it on something. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Angels guide spirits. What is it that you would like to tell my Aries, please? For October of 2020. I can't believe it's almost October. We have dance. Dance. So celebrate for the month of October. It's all about celebration. It's all about taking the things that you um, have in life or you want in life and celebrate. Or maybe you have a celebration coming. But it's all about celebration, guys. So um, look into the celebration and don't forget to celebrate um, the things that you have wanted, the things that you have gotten, and the things that are coming your way. Okay, guys, I hope you like this reading. Um, if you have um, not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button for me. It would mean the world to me. And if you like this video, guys, give me a big thumbs up. I love you guys. Until next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful October.